The physicist mathematician Penrose is very interested in the so-called impossible structures. Well, I first came across the work of Escher when I was attending a congress of mathematicians in Amsterdam, in Holland. I was at that time a student of mathematics, and there was a special exhibition of the work of Escher that was in conjunction with an exhibition of Van Gogh's paintings. But it was thought that the drawings and prints of Escher would be a special interest to mathematicians. And it was mentioned to me because it was known that I was interested in mathematical peculiarities, well, geometrical peculiarities, that uh, I might be interested in this uh, exhibition. And I went to see it and I found it very, quite fascinating. Particularly, I remember uh, the relativity and uh, night and day, I think, particularly stuck in my mind. And after seeing this, I went back, when I got back to England, I began to think, I wondered whether I could do something myself, which would be some kind of geometrical peculiarity, but perhaps not quite the same as the things I had seen at the exhibition of Escher. And uh, I then started to design pictures which were impossible in some sense and gradually simplified these until I designed this triangle of mine which uh, is, it, well, it's the kind of thing which I mean an impossible object. Perhaps I can draw what this looks like. thing is that the triangle is every small part of the figure is something which could exist as a three-dimensional object but the whole configuration is something which could not exist three-dimensionally I showed these things to my father and he then designed a number of impossible figures himself I remember particularly a, a drawing of a college which was an impossible building and he then played with these for a while and gradually came across the staircase which uh, goes down all the way around. Now when we both had these, when we had these two figures, the triangle and the staircase and several others, we then, this was round about in 1954 when the Mathematical Congress was in 1954 and uh, a little later than that perhaps next year, we wrote a paper which we sent to the British Journal of Psychology which uh, contained a number of these drawings and uh, when this was published we sent a copy to Escher and he then incorporated these into two of his own drawings. In the meantime he had designed Belvedere which used similar principles to the things we had. It was quite independent of the our own developments, uh, but the particular drawings, the triangle and the staircase, he incorporated into drawings of his own, or in, into uh, prints of his own, and here we have the staircase, this was developed specifically from the staircase that my father had designed. later he incorporated the triangle of mine into th this waterfall picture where the water goes round and round in an impossible way. Well I should explain what we mean by an impossible object. We have here a drawing now, if you look at it, each corner of this triangle is itself represents a possible configuration. You could have two rods jointed in this way and uh, in three dimensions, and this would be a drawing of such a picture. If I cover up the rest of it, you can see that this one is, this corner is possible. Again, this corner represents a joint between two rods, quite perfectly all right. 
again this corner does. If I cover up only one corner, you can see, again this is possible, the rod recedes into the distance as you go around. There is no incompatibility. Again, here, it's perfectly consistent. But if I uncover the whole picture, you find that as you go around, the distance appears to get further and further away, or the, in the opposite direction, you're getting closer to yourself, and, and it's inconsistent. So whereas the picture is, a, it's a possible drawing of a consistent configuration in each part itself, the whole thing is inconsistent. And you could not actually have an object which looks like this in three dimensions, which resembles this all the way around. On the other hand, it is possible to make a model which, because it, it's broken in one place, it, it does, when viewed from the right angle, it does in fact resemble such a thing. And my father made a number of models of impossible objects. The first one he made was the staircase. And this, if you view it from just the right angle, it, it will look like the staircase drawing. Now, but you see that it is broken, and you still you could not have an object which was consistently looked like that picture from every angle. But from exactly the right angle, it will look like like the impossible staircase. A little later, he made a model of the triangle, and this, again, if you look from just the right angle, it will resemble the picture that we just had of the triangle. But you'll notice that it's broken. You could not have an object which from every angle resembled the impossible triangle. It's not possible in three dimension, ordinary three-dimensional space to have such an object. Of course, the artist Escher goes beyond geometric impossibility and reaches imaginary fantasy. <laughs> 